This is actually going to be a sort of collective haul. I have stuff from Derm Store, Birchbox, Ulta, the drugstore, and Influencer. So if you watched my beauty resolutions video from the beginning of the year, I broke my year for 2015 into bunches of no buys. So I've been on a no buy for the first three months of 2015. April, I was able to buy stuff. May, I'm actually going back onto a no buy schedule. So nothing's gonna be picked up for me, no hauls for me or anything. And I really don't do very many hauls on my channel as it is. I'm gonna start with influencers since it's a really small box that they sent me. This is the carefree box. And I'll leave all the information for signing up for Influencer down in the description box below. You don't have to have a YouTube channel to receive boxes from Influencer. The last box that I got from them was the YSL Yves Saint Laurent mascara that retails for $32. So that was pretty awesome. I love Influencer. This time they sent me, it says Fresh is Fierce, Carefree. Oh, there's some coupons on here for some Carefree Active Fresh panty liners, and it looks like they sent out some panty liners, which is kind of awkward to talk about, but if you're a woman, you probably use these. So these are nice to have when, you know, you start your menstrual cycle and, you know, the transition between heavy days and light days, I think. So these are really nice to have around for that. Now that that's out of the way, I had an order from Derm Store. I love Derm Store. They have online coupon codes constantly. Um, I think I had a 20 or 25% off coupon code. So I picked up some Arcona Triad pads. These are the refresh ones. Oh my goodness. I've used three or four of these little toner pad things. And I really feel like these were making my skin look brighter and just, it had a nice glow. So this is what they look like. They're little round, like cotton, little cotton rounds, and they're saturated in this solution. These are really nice. It smells sweet. These have definitely been brightening my skin. My skin feels so much better after I use these. I'm switching off between my Clinique toner and this right now, but these are so amazing. I've, I've loved Arcona products in the past and I've talked about them a lot, but I've never actually tried these, these Triad pads, and I'm totally sold on these. I'm gonna go and pick up some more of these before the end of the month, I think, because they are fantastic. And with any Derm Store order, you can pick up some samples, so I have the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. It's like a body butter, kind of. And then I have a little sample of the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, the Velvet Skin Coat, and something else in here, just a little packet from DHC. So that was really nice. I'll leave my link for Derm Store down in the description box. I think you can get some percentage off if you sign up through somebody that's already signed up with their newsletter or something. But I'll leave that down in the description box in case you're curious about getting $10 off or something. Then I made an order from Birchbox with my Birchbox points, and I've been wanting to pick these up for so long. I finally had enough points saved up to pick these up. So this is the original Beauty Blender, but it comes in a two pack. I haven't used these yet. I've been saving it for showing you guys in a haul. So I think that was $30, because I added this on, and it bumped it up to almost $40, so I wasn't losing any of my points when I cashed them in. So this is the Pixi Shea Butter Lip Balm, and this one is in Honey Nectar. This is, this is just like a nude version of the Pixi Balm, and I have the one in pink that came from Birchbox last summer, I think. But this one's gonna be really nice just to throw on casually, so that is it on the back of my hand. And there it is there. And then they had some promotion where this was added into the box for free and it was supposed to be worth $15. So it's an anniversary keychain. Um, it's kind of cute, but I got it for free. So, you know, I don't mind. So moving on to Ulta, I had a 20% off coupon that was circulated around kind of the first week of April, I believe. So I picked up a couple of my favorite hairsprays. These are the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Volume, what is it, the Volumizing Hairspray. I got three of them. It was buy two, get one free, but I also had some points that I redeemed in and I had the 20% off coupon. So 
I think I got these for $9 a piece. I think essentially it came out to be buy one get two free with all the discounts. So love this hairspray and it smells fantastic. And then I had some NYX products here because NYX was buy one get one 50% off. I've been eyeballing this for a while and they never have the fair shade in stock. This is the dark circle corrector. I haven't even used this. I'm very intrigued about this though. So this is what it looks like there. Here it is inside of the pan, and then there it is on the back of my hand, right? Right there. So you put concealer over it, and it's supposed to, you know, keep the dark circles from showing through the concealer. I have that problem all the time. The next item, this is the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On, definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliner. This one's in Jewel. I've been kind of intrigued by this for a while too. Here's a swatch of it on the back of my hand. It's like a metallic, I don't know, darkened plum burgundy sort of shade. It's very interesting. I can't wait to play with this. I think this is gonna be fun underneath the bottom lash line especially. So I picked that up. Another hair product. I love this stuff. This stuff showed up in my, um, was it February favorites? I took one of these out so you can see what it looks like. So I had two of these Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Elixirs. So there's two here. I think these retail for $22. So picking them up, buy one, get one 50% off plus the 20% off was definitely a good deal. Maybelline was discounted, so I've been eyeballing this for a while since I ran out of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've seen a lot of reviews saying that this is comparable to that one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's in the shade number 15. I know there's a shade number 10, and that one's actually a little bit darker, a little bit more yellow. Than I think this looks quite similar to the shade number 2 of the NARS Concealer. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad. This one's in Mad for Mauve. This is number 10. I just thought it looked kind of fun for spring, so snagged that up. I think the burgundy shade over here is going to be gorgeous, and then that green one looks stunning too. Oh yeah, these are looking super pretty. Let me swatch them for you. I don't have any of these Maybelline quads, and I've been eyeballing this one for a while. Ooh, that's gonna go really nice with the NYX eyeliner. So there they are on the back of my hand. I was thinking this one over here would look pretty nice. I think they're gorgeous. They're gonna look really pretty. I'm really happy about the pigmentation on these. So this is super cute. This was Mad for Mauve. So that one, and then I know, you guys know, I have a major problem with these things and I'm close to using up two or three of them right now. So I thought, well, I might as well pick them up. They're limited edition. I saw Holly Eats Lipstick talk about these when they first came out and I was sold. I had to pick them up. So these are the Maybelline color tattoos. This one is Hibiscus Heartbreak and this one is Black Orchid. And let me swatch them up for you. So this one, this right here, this is Hibiscus Heartbreak. There it is in the container. Super excited to wear this one. And then the other one, definitely couldn't pass it up. This is Black Orchid. There it is right up there. You can see it's taupey, but it definitely has like a lilac kind of undertone to it. I, I cannot wait to play with these, they look like so much fun. I love my Maybelline color tattoos. Okay, and then I had actually picked up the Tarte Tartlet palette and I just wasn't impressed. Some of the shades, the darker ones, they kind of all blended together on my eyes. It sort of looked a little muddy, so I took it back, I returned it, because I had just picked up the Laura Mercier palette too, and I thought that the purple shades in the Tartlet palette would be comparable to the Laura Mercier one not even close. So I took it back and I got the IT Cosmetics Blending Crease Brush. This is number 105. And I don't have anything from IT Cosmetics whatsoever. No makeup, no brushes. This is my first product from them. 
That is the 105. Super soft. Looks like I, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna be really pleased with this. So, and it comes with this little cap too. So it always stays nice. <laughs> so that's a really fun item. I cannot wait to play with that. And then I picked up the NYX High Definition Blush in Taupe. I wasn't going to get this, but I decided at the last minute I would. Oh, it has a cute little bow on it in the front. And then this is quite... I swatched this in the store. I've been trying to find this for a while now, and it's never available. Like, there it is right there, and that's like two swipes across my hand. I'm sure it'll blend out. You can put it down lighter too, but that is the NYX blush in taupe right there. I only have one matte contour and bronzer powder at the moment. That's my body shop one. So I was quite intrigued about this one. The color looks really nice on that one too. I think it's gonna work really well for my fair skin. So I'm really excited to play with this. And then they threw this into my bag. I don't even know what this was for. This is the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I know nothing about this. Like I said, I don't have any IT Cosmetics products. Oh, it's just a little mini one. Oh, and it's, check it out. It's retractable. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This looks nice. It looks like it might be a little bit shiny, but I think it might dry down a little bit. I'll have to try it out, see how it is in the waterline, on the upper lash line, all of that. So let me know if you guys have tried these before because I have not ventured into IT Cosmetics whatsoever yet. My husband came home last night and surprised me with some things. Um, he brings me home the Cosmo magazine every month, so um, he brought this with it too. This is the Toka Stella perfume and this is gorgeous. I've, I think I had one Toka, is that how you say that? Toka? I had one Toka perfume sent to me from Birchbox and I did not like it. It was like an algae green sort of color, but this one smells really nice. When you first spray it on the skin, you get hit with like a crazy intense floral scent and then it dries down a little bit and it's more of I think it has what did it have in here blood orange and spicy lily so it must be the blood orange it's kind of like a bitter citrus that shows up after it dries down a little bit this is a really nice fragrance I, I definitely can't wait to wear this for like a date night or something so it's kind of cute and I think I want to leave it in its little box here because it's absolutely adorable so anyway, there's that. And then I went over to Walmart. I have Walmart and Target here and then I'm done. So I went over to Walmart, picked up a couple things from Maybelline. They have the limited edition baby lips out right now. This one's in O Orchid. And I haven't swatched this yet. It looks beautiful. It's like a light lavender pink shade. Let's see how much pigmentation it has. When you have the pink of your lips with it, it's definitely going to show up. So, there's that. This was O Orchid. They had another one, but it was a peachy one, and I really am into these lavender shades lately, like this. I picked up one of the new ones. I can't remember what the collection's called. Maybe I'll, I'll put it up here. Petal Rebel or something. Maybe that's it. But this one's in 725 Lilac Flush. I had to. So there it is, right next to the baby lips. I am so excited to wear this. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow, actually. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. It just looks so pretty. So, mm. this is the CoverGirl and Olay Deep Puffer Eye Concealer. And I've been intrigued by this one for quite a while. I got the shade 310, which is fair. Let's see what this looks like. It doesn't feel as thick as some other concealers, but it does have this metal tip here that's supposed to cool and depuff under the eyes, but the shade is right there. I think that's gonna work beautifully for my skin. It's kind of, it almost feels like a gel. A, a much thinner formula than the Fit Me from Maybelline that I picked up, 
but I'm running out of my concealer, so I just used up the last little bit of the one that I've been working on for quite some time, so I only have two concealers in my collection. So I thought I would try some other ones, so I will let you guys know on this. And then I, I, I needed some new razors, and I'm sick of spending like $20, $25 and up on cartridges for the Venus razors. So I saw this. This was... I think it rang up as $3.97, so it was about $4, and I've already taken one out, but there's four Noxzema Spa Shave. They have four blades on the razors. These are fantastic. These are my new favorite razor. I'm just going to purchase these from now on instead of spending like $28 on the freaking refills. I'm so sick of doing that. But the grip on these is really nice. You wouldn't think that this is a disposable razor, but that is the front of the blades there. And surprisingly, with the Venus razors and the replaceable cartridges, I always have at least one nick on my legs when I'm shaving my legs. I did not nick myself once when I shaved my legs with these. I am sold. I'm definitely going to be buying these from now on. And it's so much cheaper. It's a dollar. It's under a dollar per razor. I know I shouldn't be picking up any more lipsticks, but I saw this shade and it just looked so promising. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick. It's in the new packaging. This one's in 503C Will You Be With Me. And it's just my absolute favorite color of lipstick. It's like the light pink sort of shade. I love these, like the nudie pink shades, you know. This looks like a toned down version of Max Snob and Maybe a mixture of Max Snob and Cream Cup. So there it is right there. I'm really intrigued by these new lipsticks that Wet n Wild put out. There's a lot of them that look really nice. Then I went on over to Target. I just used up my Jurgens BB Body in the light, the big one in the light. So I picked up the one for medium to deep skin tones, which I obviously don't have, but I will let you know on the like how it works compared to the light one actually. I think it just gradually tans your skin, honestly, and I, I love this stuff. I'm definitely a purchaser of this product for life. And then Sony Kashuk sparked my interest. Uh, I had somebody steal my MAC eyeliner brush, and so I saw, instead of running out and repurchasing it, I saw that Sonia Kashuk has the number 107 Bent Eyeliner Brush, and I thought I would try this, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping this. I was really excited when I saw this, but let me show you here. But this is cut on an angle on the side right here. Maybe you'll be able to see that. See how it's cut? When you're doing your eyeliner on this eye, I feel like it would be perfect. But to get that same perfect wing, I would have to hold this like this to do this side. There's no way I'm going to get an even wing holding the brush like this on this side and this on this side. So I think with that weird cut in it, it's going this way. I don't understand. And they were all like that. I thought it was just maybe one or two of them. But they were all shaped like this. I, I, can't, I can't do my eyeliner with this brush, so I think I'm going to have to take this back and return it. So I'm a little bummed about that. I'm probably then I saw this from Sonia Kashuk, and I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. I have the one for the brows, but I wanted an eyelash comb. So this is the Lash and Brow Comb. I think this was $4.99, and this eyeliner brush was $5.99. So you can see they have the eyebrow comb right here and then the lash comb on this side. I'm pretty intrigued to see how this, you know, works with my different mascaras. I don't know if this is entirely necessary, but I don't mind trying it out for a little bit and seeing how it does. So it wasn't that expensive. It was like five bucks.
And I think that's it. So I have a couple new lipsticks to play with and some eyeshadows and liners and everything over here. So this is kind of a fun little haul, kind of a big haul, but I'm going back on my no buy for the month of May. So I should be able to get through a lot more of my products. Anyway, that is everything. Finally, that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.